a clear message to the United States from Vladivostok. You're not the only show in town. Russian President Vladimir Putin hosted Kim Jong-un on Thursday on a Russian island in a display of global clout for both. U.S. President Donald Trump's talks with Kim on Pyongyang's nuclear program broke down two months ago. And now the supreme leader is keen to explore other options, especially ones that help lift the weight of international and U.S. sanctions. Reuters Christian Lowe in Moscow says Russia, an ally of Pyongyang, wants to be back at the table of any peace talks. Russia is kind of back in the game, and I think that uh, Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, is exploiting that, and he's using this summit to show the world that Russia can again have decisive influence over what happens uh, with North Korea and is a major player uh, on the world stage. Kim rolled across the border in his armoured train Wednesday with high hopes. It was the two leaders' first face-to-face -face meeting though former Soviet Russia and communist North Korea are neighbours and old friends. Behind the bonhomie and closed doors, no, 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 the question was how much Putin could give. Kim wants support for economic development and diplomatic backup to end sanctions. Russia sells oil and gives aid to North Korea, but it supports the sanctions regime. Despite long sessions and a gala dinner, the talks ended with no official statement from either side. Where Russia differs from, say, the United States, is Russia is very firmly set against trying to push towards regime change. But ultimately, Russia is still signed up to the international consensus over North Korea that's set out in many, many uh, United Nations Security Council resolutions, which say that North Korea should not be developing its nuclear weapons program, uh, and that if it does, then it will be subject to sanctions. Russia shows no readiness at all to break with that. The Kremlin wants a resumption of the long-standing six-way talks on the nuclear program, which was sidelined by Trump's diplomatic push. But Putin said after the summit he didn't know if the time was right. Kim's hopes for more dramatic support soon look likely to be frustrated.